Today is March 2nd, 2018, and this is your daily vlog number 49. Now, today I want to sort of talk about some bad news I have for you. The bad news is, in the last 14 days or so, I have received a lot of bags and I panic sell twice. So if you look here, I'm at 0.119 in BTC, and if I look now, I am at what? 0 0.110 in BTC. Now, I have not lost any value if, in, by any means. If you look here, uh, USD evaluation is 1110, right? And in profit trailer, I am now worth 1255. So in, in reality, in some god weird way, I am up $150 since 14 days ago. When I first installed profit trailer, I stayed even because I gained that BTC. When BTC went up, I made profit. Uh, so yeah, but I guess in a way it's good news, but I still don't like the fact that I lost money because if I held on to, if I didn't have the bot running for the last 14 days, I would have gained more cash. Okay. And, and I'll probably be another hundred dollars up because of that. Actually, probably more than that. I'll be $110 up in the last 14 days. If I just had the bot off because I gained 20% and I lost 10% of that or about 9% of that. Okay. So because of all the issues, and if you look at a lot of other people's uh, profit trailers, you will notice some really heavy bags and possibly um, people, I've seen people down $5,000, 25%. I mean, that's significant down, actually about 20%. But 20% is a lot, man, and to be down your whole portfolio about 20% because your bags are 9, 10 deep in DCAs and they could never get out, right? So, I mean, if they get out of those bags, great, you know, but there needs to be a pretty big pump in order to to gain that 20% in BTC. Uh, but that's crypto market, right? We all know this, um, ups and downs. But for our bot, we want to get out of our trades pretty quickly, and I don't want to really hold on to anything too long. So, I took a full reset on everything, guys. I mean, a full reset and a whole new strategy, except the buy. So, let me go ahead and show you guys what I mean by that. So right now, this is what I've set up. Buy at 0.7, same indicators, 0.7 EMA spread strategy um, with a trailing buy of 0.2 actually. Um, PT Magic's modifying the setting for me right now because it's bare sided. Now, let me go ahead and finish this. Uh, some other new settings I thought of putting in um, was this all BTC price drop trigger at three. So if the price drops to 3% in PT, or excuse me, in profit trailer, you see it up here in orange, it says as uh, BTC, um, you'll see that 2.46%. If it is, so in this one, it'll trigger on this one. If it goes higher than 4%, the sell only mode will be enabled in PT. And also you'll get a telegram message about it. If it goes, and then only time will turn that back off, the sell only mode is if it goes back down to 2% at the top right hand side. Uh, that's based upon what I have read. Um, so I don't think it's coming back down 2% from the full 4%. Yeah, I think it means a representation of exactly that number on the top right hand side. So don't quote me on it, but uh, I thought this was a great out of the box feature from Profit Trailer, so I went ahead and added that. So the big thing here stop loss. Stop loss trigger at negative 0.25. So all my cells now, uh, if it is a loss, as soon as it hits a negative, uh, a quarter of a percent down, uh, I want to sell it, okay? Uh, on the opposite side, on the flip side, we are selling at 0.5 profit, 0.5% profit. So these very, very small profit margins both ways. It's going sell is even smaller on profit, it would, it's double. So, one thing that's nice when you have, when you double the stop loss to 0.5, right, on the opposite side of things, if if I'm making 50% of the right calls, I'll still make money, okay? I just have to make sure 50% of my calls are actually right, okay? I don't need to be 100%. If I make 50% of the calls, I'm still in profit. So that's the really nice thing about having a setting like this. Now, if I have two thirds on a sale, then we got a problem. We we need to be at least 50%. We're using a bot to be uh, predicting at least 50%. Okay, and I will hit this point, uh, point 0.5 mark here. I mean, that's the bare minimum requirement, right? That's what I feel like I need to at least achieve. So what the goal and intent will be, I'll be continuously modifying my strategy, maybe my buy value and keep tweaking it, uh, my indicators, keep tweaking it and figure out what's the best. 
with PT Magic, what I ended up doing was, uh, I did a lot actually. I, I cleaned it up quite a bit. I went ahead and looked through all the files or looked at everything here. So I, I re-enter the coin market cap 24 hour, Bitcoin one hour, 12 hour, the 24 hour, a whole bunch of other settings. Um, if you guys have been following, I have the 96 and 48 hour. Uh, one thing, if you want to have the 96 at the top store data max hours, you need to put 96 there or it will show up. Duh, right? And then at interval minutes, I change it to 30. I notice PT just keeps switching settings on me like every minute sometimes. And I'm like, no, no, I, I, it's okay to switch every 30 minutes. Just once every 30 minutes, find out what you need to be and go ahead and change change it then. Okay, uh, We don't need it to be changing it all day and then possibly have Profit Trailer bug out because of those settings, right? Uh, the global settings for profit trailer. Um, so these are the global trends and so far I have limited What these can do so end of the world and taking down uh, so end of the world here and or excuse me up here end of the world and I'll go ahead and close this out end of the world and taking down will be on the parasite all sell only equals true so let me go ahead and close that parasited uh, just a little bit less than what I have so I uh, increase the trailing by to 0 0.3 instead of 0 0.2 and then on ready for liftoff I have actually reduced the all buy value to 0 0.6 and these are very very small changes okay and I should be able to monitor uh, what my bot does significantly better from here on out because I'm not making I'm not changing so many variables that it will be hard for me to determine what is what is causing it I'll be I mean I'll know exactly hey at this market my bot bought this I still have it or it's sold you know I mean the probability that it sells and buys is very very quick right if I made a wrong buy it's gonna it's gonna sell it immediately so in the in 24 hours from now hopefully I will have a lot of buys buys and sells and maybe not all of them are profit but it gives me data to work with and that's what I really need right now Regarding single markets, um, this is something that I just added. I know I, I showed you guys this last time, but I just renamed things. The pump protection, I actually changed it to absolute from relative, and I put it on all the exchange trends as well. So the one hour, 12 hour, 24, and I'll change that to sell only mode equals true. So if you look at my pairs, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff is just on sell only mode. Uh, like for example, ARC, I'm not gonna buy it because it's up by 15%. I'm not gonna buy V chain because it's down by 7.97%. It's just I, I want things that are in the center right now. I will gradually open my scope, but I just needed a restart. I needed a clean restart. And anytime I think of a new idea, I don't have any DCAs to worry about. No more DCAs for a long time. So for the next two weeks, I think I'm not gonna do any DCAs just to collect data. I might be losing money, but I need to collect that data. I don't think I'll actually lose money. Overall, I'm pretty happy about Profit Trailer and what it's going to do for me. I think after I get this component done, it will teach me a lot, right? And then with this information that I have, I can expand upon uh, improving on my settings, okay? And maybe possibly doing, I mean, I, right now I really need the shitcoin list that I need to uh, add that shitcoin list into. Uh, my Paris.properties properties file, but I haven't got time to create that just yet. So hopefully this video has been helpful for some of you guys out there. Uh, please thumbs up, like the video, join the Discord. I try to be there every day, but I just been really running out, uh, really short on time lately, so I couldn't be um, able to interact with you on Discord. But hopefully um, in the near future, I'll be able to communicate with you guys all the time. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Bye bye.